Alright, so we're back. We're back now. So, now, I get to show you guys. I mean, right afterwards, I'm gonna have to get... I'm, I'm gonna have to do stuff real quick. But, now I can show you guys the model stuff. And what, how to really model here. Okay? So, let's... So, if you're doing what... So, for me, I'm gonna show you guys how to model with Java block items. So, how you... Like, a custom item. So, if... The rest I don't exactly know yet. But, so, first things first, you'll click Java block slash item. Name, you don't have to name it, you just click confirm, because you can name it later on. Now, you'll see here. Here is, like, the, here is, might seem confusing, but it's not. So, now as you already know, now you see, like, that, the overlay, pretty much this block bench, how everything looks. First thing you gotta do is, click import texture. Go to... Uh, Go to your resource pack, and where you saved your your texture pack, where you saved your texture name, that you named red, that's where you select it. So mine is right here, red.png. See, look, right here. Perfect. Now, next thing you gotta do is now you use it to add the texture because you otherwise when you add the cube, it's blank. See, it's blank. Anywho. First things first, I want to tell you about, tell you about, is elements. Elements are pretty, elements are like the, like, the moving of the positions, changing of size, type of point I don't really know about in rotation. For example, let's say, let's start with position. Let's say I want to move this, like, I don't know, like a few, let's say I just want to move, watch. When you move by X, it moves to, like, around here. The reason, sure, you can also just use the arrows, but... When you're doing a model, sometimes you have to do like decimals, and you can't do that with the arrows. But let's say you want to need to do like 1.5, you can do that like this 1.5. Not, not, not that. One point, see, look, it's not exactly on the square, it's like in a midpoint way. See, it's good because there are sometimes where you can't exactly, where you exactly really do need decimals. Otherwise, you're, otherwise you can't really model the thing you're doing. Changing the position, the element position y is literally just a y axis. See, look up, down. But you can also do des decimals here too. So 1.5, see? So, look, it's not exactly on the square, as you can tell. And z pretty move, moves it like this, these ways, which you can also do decimals. Now, size. This is like, pretty good. It's also, also not. I mean, I actually know it's still pretty good. When you change the size, you can pretty much make it like bigger or smaller. Except for when it's like one cube, you can't make it any smaller. If you make it any smaller, it does this. Like watch. Size, see, look, looks like it's like it's just a line. I mean unless you need a line like this and you're then then go free free you do it. It's fine. Now, when you change the position of X, it pretty much does this. See? Look boop 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 boop. Now um Let's, if you were trying to do the negative wise, it looks just weird. See, let's look at that. That looks weird. It's not. It's it's pretty much just like this. And it kills it as if it just killed it. It's pretty sad. When you change the Y though, oh that just puts, that just brings like does that as you already notice. Same thing when you do negative. It does the same thing as the way it does for the rest. It makes it look weird. Now you might be wondering, hmm, what's this inflate do? Well, I can show you. Watch. <laughs> See, it just makes the cube make it just made the cube gigantic, pretty much. Yeah, I I never really use it, so. <laughs> Pivot point. I can't really explain that. I don't really use it. <laughs> I don't even know what it's really meant for. Now rotation. Rotation. You can like rotate them on like the x, y, and z. For example, look. I want to rotate on x. Here, let's watch. You can also do for rotation. You can't do forty-four point two. No, it's like the rotations are strictly zero, twenty-two point five, forty-five, and that's and that's it. And like negative two, two point five, stuff like that. There's you can't do like forty-four point one. You can't do any of that for rotation. Sadly, I know. As for Y, when you try to rotate the Y, you pretty much like, see? Look. Let me show you. Look. Did, 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 did
Now Z is it's like Z is pretty much doing like the up, pretty much doing like left and right from north, as you can see. So it's back to zero. If we must. Boop. Now the arrows is pretty much makes it a lot for a lot easier movement, but this you can't really do decimals on. You can't. I mean, if it's already a decimal, like four four point, like, let's say like one point five already, then you could easily then you could just do this. See? Then yeah, obviously you could do that. But, but, yeah. A lot of stuff I had to, a lot of stuff I was just trying to figure out myself and also look around, ask on like the Discord, all that good stuff. Now, anyways, you could also, you could also do resize, like, put up the size again, but you could do this like yourself, so it makes, this one's easier. Except for this one, you can't, size, you could do decimals, well, this, what I'm doing here, same like the arrows, you cannot just do decimal values by doing these arrows, you have to do, go to the element itself. But, yeah, you could do it like this way, up, but we, all that good stuff here. Rotation, you click this rotate button. I, I don't know if you'll guys see up, all this stuff up here. I added this myself and stuff, but see, it's pretty the same thing, only easier to control. See? Do, 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 do. So, but also make it easier to control, like not easier to control it too. Pivot point, pivot tool, I don't know that. I don't know, sorry. I said we could try it, what does it do? Yeah, I'm lost already. <laughs> now, vertex snap, you can make like circles with vertex snap or arcs. For example, how you do, I mean, is like, you'll, let's say you duplicate this cube. You want to make like, an, I don't know, a circle for like one of your models you're doing. For like, let's say, um, I don't know, a gem weapon, for example, or something. Then, how I do circles is you take this, and let's say you want to do it like, start off like from like here and do it like that then you'll pretty much just do like no you'll do like flip you'll duplicate this cube move it down click rotate and move it to instead move it to like the did i, did, did I rotate back in it i did okay and move it to the i think right yes the right let me think uh no that's no yes yes yeah, to the right and you'll click vertex snap Select this. You can also look at my values too over here. I'll also give you a hint. But you'll select here and then do boop. See? Look. It almost it made like a little arc. And if you were to do that all around, it'll make a circle. But I don't want to make a circle because that's unnecessary time. But you guys could try it for yourself. Now, next up. Oh, flip, I got to remove the cube. Boop. Okay, and it's back. We're, now we can all live happy ever after. Done. Alright, so. Now. I'm going to show you how, like, when you create this cube, the way how you add the textures is by, you go to textures over here, right click it, and it's like, apply to cubes. Now, you'll see this. Remember when they, oh, why is there this north, south, west, east, up and down? Oh my god, why? So, reason why is because this controls each of the sides of the little cube. See how there's multiple different sides of the cube? If, let's say I wanted to change this to, I don't know, this, that, and that. Then look, see, look at this color, see, it's different, see, look, it's not exactly the same, what, where is it, where's one for down, here it is, look, see, look, I want this color, now this, yeah, it's pretty much just like changing, but, for here, but you could pretty much change this all, note, you could also, let's say you're trying to, you just want, one, you want the same color on all sides, just on only on one of them, move it to the... Normally, if it's like right here, you don't do anything. But let's say the one that this texture you want is like, I don't know, in the middle. Then you move one like to like the middle and select this button right here. Apply to all faces. Now each side has, has this, see? The same position. Now, I'm trying my best, I'm sorry. Now. When you, let's say you just created your model, like, actually no, no, not that yet. So, let's say you created the, the cube. Let's say you were creating a rim with like a gem, for example, or something. Then, and you, then what you do is, the rim, don't put it in a group. This, there's a thing called groups, like, if I click add group, this pretty much like, when you put something in a group, it'll make it like, let's say I wanted to like, I don't know, look, duplicate, duplicate, like this. 
See? Watch. When you click group, like, hold on, let me just flip the knife, flip the knife in the group. Derp. That and that. Say you want them all in the group. And you want to select each one and duplicate it to the other side. Then select group. See how every single one gets selected. Right click, duplicate. And look. And that's just a little, but let's say you let's say you just made like the top portion of like a gem or a weapon or something, and you need that to look as the exact same on the other side. But it took a while. This tool is useful. Because let's because the rim, like, let's say this is like the top and bottom, right? The rim will be like, I don't know, like outside. So like let's do this. Let's move this like outside of the I said outside of the group, please, thank you. Now where's that cube? I think hello. I'll do this. It's like I'll put all textures and then pretty much I don't know, do this. Watch. Move this like here and down. See? So if the rim would be not in a group because it's the rim. You're not you're not gonna be duplicating that again. Because the rim is like like the or maybe you might be, I don't know. But the rim, you, you should probably name all the cubes, like, name one cube rim, the very first one, and make the rim first. And and then the group, have the cube the same cube. Don't change the name. So it'll be like this. For example, it would be like rim, rim, rim. Like this. So, see, how these are all named cube, but then the rim, see, is just named rim, see? Because this is the rim of like what I'm building, and this is like the top and bottom, right there. See? I'm trying my best. Now, I'll talk about more options. This, if you want to figure this out, you can. I don't use it really, so I don't know much about it. The copy and paste, like these stuff here, I added a good amount of them, but if you were to add it yourself, copy and paste, I don't suggest using copy and paste. I mean, you can, but the only problem is that it doesn't have the texture. Watch. Copy. Let's say it's like, oh my god, I think I have the texture. Boop. Wait, where did I, did it? Where is it? Copy and paste. Well then, I that makes me feel stupid. <laughs> Wait, I have to copy and paste. Huh? It didn't work before. Did they fix it? Hmm. Copy paste. Oh, did it work? Oh, nope, never mind. See? See that? Look. Look. I'll try it again. Watch. Do this. Copy. Copied one faces. Paste. See? It's the fourth one now. No texture. Right there. But it has the same position, see? It has the same... Oh, I just moved it. Oops. Well, it does have the same position of, like, the texture, so... Technically, it's just easy to do that. Boop. Done. You have your texture back. Bingo, bago. Now... Undo, you pretty much like undo your last action and redo it. Cut. I don't use it, I'm sorry. As for cube codes, you can just like, if all this stuff, if you add the same thing, how I add it is I go toolbar, toolbar, so which is the three dots, customize, and I just scroll down and I add whichever.